All right, guys, I'm working on taking apart the chandelier. I'll show you guys a little bit what I go through to get the wire out of these. Wire is such a decent price right now, I, I always take these apart. You guys can uh, decide whether you guys think it's worth it or not. I got most of the end caps already pulled off of these ends, little cast aluminum caps, and the top piece is just a little chunk of brass, which is cool. Sometimes you uh, you wind up getting lucky, and I found quite a few of them that the whole thing was brass, which winds up being pretty decent money. Very, very, very fond of the ones that are all brass. I just don't don't find them too often. Is the only bad part. And okay, these wires are in here tight. Okay, what else we got here? This one out. This one out. So I'll put it's the first little little pyre, pile of low grade insulated wire. I'll throw it in the, in the good old bin. Sometimes it's really tough to pull these wires out of here. I think this is going to be one of them deals. Another little piece of junk steel. One more thing up on the truck. Okay. Check this with the magnet. Another little piece of clean steel. Throw that down there in that little bin. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit tricky, I think. I'll go ahead and... A little good piece of wire. I'm trying to set those aside. This one, this one might... This one might not get fully taken apart because it's kind of jam-packed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all this out of here. So, I'm going to cut this one right here. I had to cut it and it just pulled right out. I didn't even have to cut this piece. Ridiculous. So sometimes, sometimes these are nice and easy and sometimes they're a royal pain in the butt. Get this off of here real quick. A nice little chunk of brass, metal brass. The little pieces really don't, really don't add up to much, and but I keep all that stuff, you know. Ooh, how am I gonna get this out of here? There we go. A little bugger was stuck on there, a little end cap. Okay, this is going to be fun. So these ones aren't too bad to get at with the wrench. But going to be all these. I don't know. So, so tangled up in here, it's hard to get them out. It's too big. Okay, well, there's one bunch. Got that one out. There's another bunch in here. I got that one out. Look at all this. All these little wires untwisted. Yeah, that's a little better. Trying to make you guys a decent video. We'll wire out. Get all these untangled. 
I might not have to take this apart 100% of the way. I should have pushed, it, pushed it on these like this to start with. That would have been much easier. Hang on to these wire nuts. These are good, good wire nuts. I use those for some. I save all sorts of stuff when I'm doing doing my scrap metal. Okay. Now, in theory, theory didn't work this time. So usually when these when these things are like this, get a fair little bit of trash out. That's all right. You do these, and they're all twisted, twisted up in these, in these loop-de-loop -loop things. The wire does not want to come out at all. Let me see if I can't get this extra chunk off of here. I don't know if this spins off or not. Sure it does. For what reason, I don't know. Well, the reason being... Not steel. And these are heavy. these are really freaking heavy. I have to put a grind on that. I'm pretty sure it's it's cast aluminum. All right. So let's try the next one here. Like I said, this is a, a little bit time consuming, yeah. but you got nothing better to do. When you want to make a little extra cash instead of just selling it as scrap steel I think it's worth it but we will see once we see if we can actually even get these wires out of here so far it's not looking too good we're gonna try it though I'm not giving up yet and things don't shatter in my hand we'll be doing all right mosquitoes ain't been bothering me all morning now they're gonna start that ain't cool can't stand them little buggers always when I'm trying to get something done too Mosquitoes or the dang gnats. these arms completely off of here and then try and pull the wires out that might that might be easier that's probably what I'll do okay. get this this cup off of here and then I have one more of those in there to get all all these little balls off of here. I'm, I think I think they might be cast aluminum, but the outside chance they're brass. That would be pretty good. There's between the six of them. I would say there's probably, probably a pound. They're very dense. But either way, it's all good money. Or another, I'm not worried about it. I enjoy very much so taking stuff apart and scrapping. Holy moly. Wow. That sucker was pretty dang tight. 
Maybe when we get done with all this, I'll put a, a grind on those. Show you guys what what it wound up being. Let me get the rest of this off in here. Free. All in all, if I didn't spend the time to get the extra extra stuff off of here, I'd just be throwing up the junk steel and I ain't getting no wire or little pieces of brass or anything off of it. Ooh-wee! This is gonna work, everybody. This is the rat nest I'm dealing with in here. I don't know if I can get a wrench in this end on them nuts in there. This end I could, no problem. That wouldn't be so bad, but I think there's, I think it's too congested. So maybe, maybe if I just try separate these and pull each individual one out. Okay, where there's you two wires right here. Let's see see if you buggers will come out. Oh no way. No way. for it from the other end. Let's see if the trusty channel locks will help me out here. Oh boy. Well, this is proving to be kind of difficult. You know what? I'm gonna go get a wrench. We'll see. See if we can't get a wrench on this. We'll be right back. All right. So I was not able to get a wrench and end where the wires were. Just a total pain in the butt. This very last one I should be able to. So. I figured I'd try and get these busted, most of them busted free, because it, it did take a minute. This is more of a, a winter project, not when you're trying to get the truck loaded. So, almost got to my last one, i get this one off of here. chunk of clean steel throw that in the basket down there and then now this is the issue we have to have so you gotta I'm gonna try and pull from this way and try and pull these out and hopefully these little buggers will come through here I'm gonna take this extra screw piece off of here just so that's one less thing it's got a fight on its way out. And let's see if it'll come out of here. Oh boy. And is that tough. Push those in there a little bit. Oh man, these are tough ones. I don't think it'd be that bad. Just one, one little bend. I don't 
don't suppose they're going to want to come out of this side either. Well, it's an awful lot of work not to be able to get the wire out. So, next best thing. doesn't come out now it's just going on the truck oh look at that not a problem in the world not a single problem okay that's absurd just that just that little little one little cut there's plenty of room in there for the wires it's just it's just being a bugger Maybe if I try and just nip these little ones off the end, kind of, uh, use this piece of wire here, maybe. You better get out of here. I'm not getting stung today. Man, them yellow jackets been so bad around here. All right, I got them pushed pushed in there a little bit. Let's see, maybe there's that la that last little bit. <sighs> nope. Nope. They don't come out unless I cut them. So we are just going to go ahead and cut these suckers. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm not monkeying with this. Not monkeying with them. So I got a little bit of wire out. And clean. A little bit of clean steel. I'm just going to take the rest of these. Nip these ends off of here. And call it that. Well, this is proving to be way too much work, but you know what? I still got a little bit of wire out of the deal, so that's always a bonus. These so out of here. Okay, so for what I got out of there, I got this, this little bundle of wire. You know, it's not not a whole whole heck of a lot, but it's better than nothing. I love my copper. Okay, for everybody that decided they were gonna stay to the end of this video, at these little little guys here, I'm gonna be real careful doing this. I'm gonna put this on video just to in case I cut my finger off. The moral of the story today, that is clean yellow brass. Clean yellow brass. And I got me a whole handful of these suckers. A whole handful of them. There's at least a pound there. All clean yellow brass. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.